Well folks, we're out here doing a little shooting this afternoon. Um, shooting a birch longbow. It's about 75 inches long. Um, dyed with, uh, stained with leather stain. And I just want to talk to you a couple minutes here about, uh, about shooting and about aiming. And, uh, you know, I use kind of a gap style of aiming. Uh, I shoot split finger, so one above, two below. And then I, you know, I pick, I focus on the smallest point at the center of the target. And, uh, you know, the smallest dot I can find um, to focus all my attention on. And then I also use, uh, you know, the, the point of the arrow. It kind of, to gauge, to gauge where I'm at, you know, it's, it, repetition kind of builds that sight picture in your mind of where the arrow should be in relation to the target. And in life, you know, that is a great question. What are you aiming at? What is the focal point? of your life what are you striving for and you know as a Christian um, my focal point should be Christ Jesus was asked by a, a lawyer of his day um, they were trying to trick him up trying to catch him in his words and these were people who followed the law to a T you know um, and they asked Jesus what was the greatest commandment and he said to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart mind soul and strength and he said, the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And uh, <clears throat> so Jesus pointed to the law and the greatest commandment being love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength. And that's something where in our flesh we can't do it. It's not possible. We can try. We can, uh, we can try to love God with all our hearts, but we can't do it. The Bible tells us the law was given to show us our sin. The law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. And oftentimes the schoolmaster, a teacher's job is to show us where we're wrong and how to get it right. And the law showed us our sin to, to point us to Christ, the one who perfectly fulfilled the law. He did everything that the law required. Um, not just in the letter, but in the spirit as well. And he, um, he loved God with all his heart, mind, soul, and strength. He was God. And yet he said, I did do always those things which please the Father. And so Christ fulfilled the law for us perfectly. And that's why through him we can have eternal life. Through his, his uh, sinless life, his death on the cross, taking our punishment that we deserve for our sin, and rising from the dead three days later, he was victorious over sin, death, and hell. And uh, he gives us new life and by faith in him. Uh, he, can, he can live through us victoriously. That's not to say we're going to live a perfect life, but Christ in us lives perfectly. And so when, as a Christian, as a believer, when Christ is the focal point of your life and through him loving the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength and loving your neighbor as yourself, it's a, that's a possibility because Jesus is doing it, not me, not you. It's Jesus. And, you know, we're still going to fail. We're still going to miss the mark at times. Um, that's what sin is, right? It's missing the mark um, of God's perfection and uh, breaking his law. But we're still going to miss the mark. But that focal point isn't going to change. We might get away. We might drift away from it. We might get drawn away um, by the cares of this life. But we're going to come back to our focus being on Christ because his Holy Spirit's going to draw us back. And so... I just like to challenge you with that this afternoon, encourage you with that. What's the focal point of your life? If you know Christ, he needs to be the center. He needs to be what you're aiming at. You're not going to hit that if you're not aiming at it. And if you're loving, if your goal is to love Christ, to love God, then you're going to love your neighbor as well because that's an outpouring of that. It's a it's the natural fruit. Jesus said, "If ye abide in me, you'll bring forth much fruit." And uh, the focus being on abiding in Christ. And if we abide in Christ, the fruit is a natural outpouring of that. Because Christ is love. He is, you know, truth. And, you know, all those things come out of that. So make Jesus your, the center of your life today. If you don't know him as your Savior, put your faith and trust in him. The Bible tells us in Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 that it's for by grace you're saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. 
It's the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. <laughs> and so, you know, while here I am encouraging you to make, you know, loving God with all your heart the focal point of your life, um, apart from faith in Christ, you can't do it. And, you know, we talked about that. So you're going to miss the mark. We all have, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So come to Christ in faith, be saved, let his spirit work in you to then make Jesus uh, Lord and the, the goal of your life, that you can seek him and the things that are above with him.